What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits out there? Jeremy Glass here, aka I'm motherfucking drunk, y'all. Today we're back with another whiskey review and test, and you read the title correct. We are looking at Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Now, this is supposed to be a little bit more expensive uh, Jack Daniels than the uh, normal ones. Uh, it's got a fancy little lid here, JD Single Barrel, hand, crap, uh, hand selected. Uh, Tennessee whiskey, 47%. Uh, this is only a 375 mil bottle. I bought the small one because I'm not a fan of Jack Daniels usually. I do like Gentleman Jack, and this is a bit more expensive than Gentleman Jack, so I have hopes for this one. Um, let's see here. Bottling date. This was bottled on February 4th, 2021. Uh, barrel number, 2101442. Uh, Rick number. I don't know what the fuck that is, so if you know what a Rick number is, let me know down in the comments below. L22. Master Distiller Jack Daniels. Uh, nothing fancy on the back to read. Just the uh, government warning, alcohol percent, Tennessee whiskey, responsibility.org, all the all the normal stuff. Um, Master Distilled does have this little fancy bottle on the or barrel on the bottom there. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty simple bottle, probably because I bought the small one. Like I said, this ran about twenty eight dollars. I think normally a regular size bottle runs about seventy something dollars, I believe. Uh, that's why I didn't buy it because I don't even know if I'm going to like this I don't want to buy something that I'm not going to like if it's expensive 28 I could swing and try out bottle review I like the bottle what does it do? I like that shape uh, I like the size of this bottle I'm not going to lie uh, probably wouldn't buy these normally because I'd go through this very fast if I love this uh, I'm probably still going to go through it very fast anyway uh, but yeah, I like the, the shape of the bottle. I do like that. Give that a good solid 8 out of 10 on the bottle shape and everything. Let's go to the cork review. Very important part. Easy out. Easy in. Even though it's such an easy in, it does seem to hold a pretty good seal. Uh, I like the shape of the, the cork, too. It's got that little groove there and everything. It's a lot bigger cork. Really get it in the hand. I actually really enjoy that cork. I'm gonna give that cork a good, I'm gonna give it a good nine out of 10. I like that cork. I like it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, excuse me there. Uh, making another mistake, haven't eaten yet. Haven't drank today. I make a mistake every time I just do the review without drinking yet. Ooh, the smell. Ooh, I love that smell. The aroma on that is very nice. It has a very similar smell to uh, Gentleman Jack. Very similar. But at the same time, it does hold a little bit more resemblance to uh, regular Jack Daniels as well on the smell. Um, like the aroma, man. That aroma gets me a little excited. Let's go ahead and pour a little bit here. Get a taste test of this. <sighs> First shot of the fucking night. Ooh. Extremely smooth. Ooh. That is extremely smooth. No burn on the way down. At all. No burn at all. Um very smooth. What I'd expect for something that was seventy that would be seventy dollars normal in a regular size bottle. Uh, flavor did lean more towards Jack Daniels than Gentleman Jack. It definitely did. Uh, which I'm not a fan of. But not as harsh. With regular Jack Daniels, I got a lot more of that acetone taste than I did with this. This ain't too bad. I can actually I can actually handle that. I like that. Like that more than Jack for sure. Uh did get some caramel notes on there on the way down. Uh, not too heavy on the caramel. Um, just a nice balance on it. Uh, woody flavor, uh, woody, I didn't get too much over the wood, of a wood oak. Whatever barrel they use, let's see, does it say on here? No, it doesn't say, it just says handmade barrel, uniquely crafted with an S in the middle of the barrel. I don't know what that means. Um, maybe the select. Um, did have, like I said, very smooth going down. Not a lot of acetone taste. Uh, some caramel notes. Didn't really get too much of a woody flavor. Uh, I prefer the woody, like uh, uh, woody flavors. I did like that, though. I'm not going to lie. Like that a lot more than I was expecting to. I'm going to give that 
a solid eight out of ten on the straight. Oh, I, I like that. I like that. Even with the no, let's take the smell into the fact. Let's take smell aroma into the fact when I'm taking the straight too. Uh, I'm gonna bump that up to a nine out of ten. I really do like that. That's not bad at all. So you know what's next? We're gonna go into the whiskey sour. Oh no, we're going to. Sorry, I lied. We're going into the coke and whiskey. We're gonna be using a bullet uh, frontier glass here because I just like the glasses, and I don't have another clean one of those. Uh, so we're not gonna, uh, you know. So we'll see how that is. Let's go ahead and get a shot. And instead of using my shot glass, second time using this on the channel now. First time for a review. We're gonna look into my fancy little jigger here. Really like this thing. Um, see how the pour is on this bottle, by the way. Um, oh, okay. Really nice pour. Easy to stop, easy to start. Uh, I like that. Oh, one shot in. We're not putting any ice in this one because it is a smaller cup. And also because the RC Cola, oh, the RC Cola is already in the fridge and been in the fridge for a, while, for a few days. I'm dropping shit off of everything, so ignore the noise in the background. So without the ice, I think we're going to get a fair measurement and closer to the, the, the other side glass. Like I said, uh, this is already cold, so I don't really think it's going to make a big difference when I have an ice in it. And like I said, we switched over to RC Cola. I prefer RC over Coke. So if you hear me call it a whiskey and Coke, it's still a whiskey and Coke. It's just a whiskey and cola down here in Texas. We just say Coke for a lot of things. That's Coke. That you know, Coke's a Coke. Dr. Pepper's a Coke. Give me a Coke. You know, something like that. You know, that's how it is down here. Hmm. Not too heavy of a smell coming through from the whiskey. Real light. Flavor wise, let's see. Hmm. The whiskey comes through a little bit, but not a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing in this. You know, I don't feel like it's really enhancing the cola, uh, the Coke, whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's really enhancing the whiskey and Coke. But it's that you can tell it's there, but it's not a lot. And from the Coke to whiskey ratio that I'm using in this, I mean, you think you would get more of a, of a whiskey flavor in there, but you really don't. It's nice. I mean, it's not, not bad. It's not great, but it's not, it's kind of average. You know what I mean? In the Coke. Give it one more taste before I give it a review. Just really kind of middle ground. It doesn't overpower the cola, but it doesn't really uh, add to the flavor of the cola. I do get a little bit more. Um, I know Coke already has kind of a caramelly taste. It feels a little heavy of uh, the caramel taste on this. So uh, it does add a little bit to it, but not much. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 on that one. Definitely wouldn't order this knowing how it tastes now. I wouldn't be like, give me, a, give me that Jack single barrel on Coke. I wouldn't do that. Now, of course, like I said, this is a higher grade whiskey it's probably not meant to be mixed with coke it's probably not meant to be mixed with whiskey sour either but we're still gonna do it now uh, as always because that's my favorite drink now one thing also new on the channel and at the house that i haven't used in a video yet is i got the square ice cubes now so a lot easier to get the ice out oh so fucking nice right in my glass or my shaker now, one thing I do would do, I would like to do is start breaking the uh, one full break and get all fancy with it and shit and strain it with a Hawthorne strainer. I don't have a Hawthorne strainer yet. So now, on my jigger, what's really beautiful here is it's got an ounce and a half in there. That's what we use. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over here. Get an ounce and a half. I like that cork. That cork is nice, man. That cork really is nice. Uh, we're gonna get an ounce and a half of our Jack. Boom. Real nice, real simple, good little pour. Definitely like the pour on this uh, bottle as well. Nice bottle, nice cork. And then we are going three and a half ounces of our sweet and sour like usual. 
Finest Call, like I said, is my favorite sweet and sour mix. So we'll do a two. And then a one and a half to a perfect measurement, hopefully. One and a half to a perfect measurement. This jigger is really nice. I'm really loving that I got this. Give it a nice seal. We got one big cube in there. Give it a nice shake. Kind of a lot different not having a bunch of different cubes in there. A lot more of a thud to it. You probably hear that. Probably fucking loud as shit. Actually, blaring you hear that. Everything nice and cool now. Let's see. Come on, break. There we go. Got my release now. Now I'm really curious actually seeing this big cube poured out with the whiskey sour. This is the first time I've actually. Ooh. Ooh. Spoilers. That's pretty good. Uh, first time using the big cube in my mix here. Oh, big splash, big splash. Don't like the big splash. Don't like big splashes. So definitely gonna have a big cube in there ready to go already. And then strain it in the future once I get a Hawthorne strainer. Uh, try to be a little bit more careful next time not to get a big splash. Now, this actually does look a little short compared to when I usually do it with ice. I usually get it perfect every time. Uh, so that's one thing I like about the big cubes. Bigger piece of ice keeps it cooler longer, but doesn't dilute it as much. So that's real nice. Smell. Nose is working that, by the way. Again, very light on the whiskey cutting through there on the smell. Again, like I said, very light on that. Um, which is sad because I really love the aroma of this whiskey. Let's give it a taste now. Whiskey really, uh, is really covered up there quite a bit by that sour mix. Yeah, that sour mix overpowers that whiskey for sure. I'm getting no whiskey notes, no caramel, not flory, uh, like the uh, Four Roses did, nothing at all. Not even just a harshness or woodiness, nothing. Yeah, that just tastes like sour mix, honestly. Uh, yeah, this, this whiskey is definitely not made to, uh, ooh, uh, it's definitely not made as a mixer. You can definitely tell that. Um, which, I mean, it, it's not a bad thing because it's straight, it was pretty damn good straight. I mean, I might pour me, not tonight, I'm on call, so I'm, this is all I'm drinking tonight right here because I'm on call. But uh, I can definitely see me pouring it and putting a big cube in one of my glasses and just pouring me a shot of this and sipping on this. I can definitely see me doing that with this one. That's what this one seems like it's intended for. Uh, which kind of sucks because I do love Gentleman Jack and Whiskey Sour. And I was hoping this was going to be just as good as that, if not better. Uh, I don't really know what the difference is between Gentleman Jack and this style of Jack Daniels, you know. Uh, but Gentleman Jack, in my opinion, so far better all around. Uh, well, not all around. Not all around. This definitely beats it in a straight. In a straight, this definitely beats it. Uh, but yeah, no. Nice simple review. We're at 14 minutes, our usual fucking mark, uh, 15 minute mark plus usually with these. A little bit simplified if I wouldn't ramble on so much because I got the quick ice cubes and I gotta sit there and pick out the best ice cubes. I got the jigger to make the pours a little bit quicker. Uh, and yeah, so uh, I'm enjoying the new bar tools for sure. But this whiskey, Getting a little bit more of it there at the bottom, but uh, towards the mid, I mean, of the drink. Just, I don't know. It's not enough, not enough. Whiskey Sour with the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Select. 
giving it just an average average six out of ten yeah I'm gonna give it an average six out of ten because it's not really doing anything for whiskey sour it's not made for whiskey sour you can tell that it's not made for whiskey and coke what did I give the whiskey and coke did I give it a seven out of ten did I even rate it I think I gave it a seven out of ten I'm giving this a six out of ten because it's just not doing anything the coke at least I got like a little bit more caramel flavor caramel flavor with the coke than they normally have but this one I'm not getting anything I really am not and which is bad because I want it to do something um, so 6 out of 10 which got 7 out of 10 for the coke 9 out of 10 for the straight though I think that's the highest straight we've had I, I really do I think for a straight for a straight whiskey I think that's the highest we've had on the channel yet for review so it excels there uh, overall on the bottle bottle cork and everything good pours good cork good shape good feel um with that thrown into there this we're not going to factor in price because this is a fancy whiskey i feel like it's not fair to factor in price we're going to take that out of the equation i think i've done that in the past uh factored that in there but we're going to factor that out of the equation uh and toss everything together man we're going to give this thing a solid solid eight out of ten you know i feel like that's a fair point because it didn't do well in the Coke, you know, whiskey and Coke, and didn't do well in the whiskey sour. But it did a very good straight and a very good bottle and cork. So we're going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. You know? Is it worth the buy? If you're a straight whiskey drinker, this is 100% worth the buy. If you haven't tried it yet and you've been thinking about it and you like to drink whiskey straight, worth the buy, for sure. If you want to mix it, it's not a mixer. Get some cheap whiskey if you want to mix because this ain't it. This is, this is not made for mixing. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, Instagram photos, as always. I always have the same pose, the same style, same smile. Let's try to get those in there. Maybe do something a little bit different. Always got to have it for the gram. Uh, and as always, make sure you leave a like below. Make sure you like this video, guys. It really does help us. hate asking for those, but it really does help. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel so you can see more videos like this and tons of more content. We have over 300 plus videos on the channel. We're getting up there in videos, not going to lie. We're getting up there. Uh, subscribing does help. As always, it's completely free to y'all. Also, down below in the description is the Instagram and the uh, Discord if you want to get a hold of me. Give me a suggestion. Give me a whiskey you want to try. Give me something else. Hell, I need to start doing rums and other shit. Vodka, rums, and stuff on the channel. Give me a suggestion on those, and we'll start getting to that kind of stuff, guys. Especially once we get that bar finished. We had another setback on the bar. Uh, the guy that was supposed to come work on it isn't able to do it this weekend. He got a little busy, and I understand. Uh, but we are going to get that finished eventually. And once I get that, the camera, the mics, and everything, we're going to be doing videos over there. It's going to be great. Uh, so stay, uh, so subscribe so you can see the channel grow into that. And as always, guys, you know what I say around here. I've said it for fucking years now. I'll continue to say for years, stay motherfucking drunk, y'all.